Hello everyone, I'm Jessica, and today I'm here to give you a video that you've all been waiting for. You asked for it, I'm here to deliver. I said in May that it was gonna get serious, and I believe I have 43 books to talk to you guys about today. Which means that in the months of June 2017 and June 2018, I bought a total of 43 books, and I didn't count how many of them are red versus red, but I can assure you that the unreds are a lot more than the reds. For sure. So I'm going to quickly go through these. I will link in the description box below my, uh, well actually it's always there, I don't know. Like I'm gonna like do something extra. <laughs> Who's got time for that? In the description box below you will find my link to Goodreads. So if you have any questions about the books that I actually have read, you can go to my Goodreads page and you can find that out. I will link the haul videos, which will have the descriptions of what the book's about, etc, etc. Um, the original haul video, so if you want to see that, you can see that there, and uh, I think that's about it. So let's start with the unreads from 2017, which is actually not terrible. My unreads for 2017, June, are Six Crows by Lee Bardugo. That's it. I read the rest of them. Shock and awe, I know. So the reds from the month of June 2017 are P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han, which is the second book of the To All the Boys I Love Before series. I have the second book in The Trials of Apollo, which is The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. Tales from Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Vernon, Robin Wasserman, and Maureen Johnson. This is a bind up of novellas that take place between the mortal instruments and the dark artifices, in case you're unaware. Speaking of Cassandra Clare, I don't know why I'm like looking over here. You can't see that over there, can you? Anyway. And the three books from the Infernal Devices manga, which are Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. I think we're gonna do, yeah, let's do unreads for July 2018 first, because it's excessive. So the first is books 5 through 13 of the Creepover series. They are very quickly. There's something out there, best friends forever. Is she for real? Together forever. Trick or treating. No trick or treating, actually. I can't read. It's all downhill from here. Don't drink the punch. What a doll. And read it and weep. Again, 5 through 13 of the Creepover series by PJ Knight. Um, there's a lot of series in here, so it's not going to take as long to talk about, but still. I have Ruined and Avenge by Amy Tintera. These are books one and two in the Ruined series. Is that what the series is called? You know, I'm really not sure what the series is actually called, but I'm assuming that it's called Ruined, but I could be wrong. Then we have three books that are actually on my TBR for this month, but I haven't read yet, and they are the three books of The Summer I Turned Pretty, which are The Summer I Turned Pretty, It's Not Summer Without You, and We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. And then we have all three books in the Burn for Burn series by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian and they are Burn for Burn, Fire with Fire and Ashes to Ashes. And then we have the three books from the Shades of London series by Maureen Johnson. They are The Name of the Star, The Madness Underneath, and The Shadow Cabinet. Daughter of the Pirate King, Trisha Levenseller, The Thousandth Floor by Catherine McGee, This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab, The Valiant by Leslie Livingston, and finally, Melissa Explains It All by Melissa Joan Hart. And then we'll get into the books that I have read that I bought in June of 2018. You knew these were coming. Books one through four in the Creepover series. They are Truth or Dare, You Can't Come In Here, Ready for a Scare, and The Show Must Go On. They're all very different. I have enjoyed these though, so I'm really excited to get to the others, but I think I'm just gonna like do a bench read in October. And then we have The Bronze Key by Cassie Clare and Holly Black, Twisted Fate by Jesse Elliott, The Wicked Deep by Shay Aaron Shaw, Smoke in the Sun by Renee Avier, Wishful Drinking by Carrie Fisher, Keeper by Kim Chance, and Apex by Mercedes Lackey. This is the third book in the Hunter series. Okay, I think that was everything. So those were the 43-ish books that I bought in June 2017 and June 2018. Now you know which ones I've read and which ones I haven't, and most of them I haven't read. June and July were just really bad buying months for me, and I don't know if it's because like June's my birthday month or if I was like in a depression spiral or what was going on. I don't know if I just needed retail therapy. I don't know what the case was, but I can tell you right now, I haven't bought 41 books this year. I think this year I'm, I'm under 25 for the year. I'm not exactly sure of the number, but I counted the other day and I'm under 25 and we're six months into the year and I bought 41 books in two months. Of course I bought 200 and nine books last year? 209 books last year, yeah. So I definitely think I have a handle on it. Um, there are books, 
a lot of books that I want to buy still. I still have a lot of backlist to buy and I think that's kind of the thing is I'm being very selective with my new releases that I'm buying but there are a lot of backlist titles that I'm still wanting to get and I think I'm going to try to utilize my library a lot more for that in the future whether it be audiobooks or actually going to my library and loaning books out because I'm finding that I'm buying all these books and I don't love all of them which is really dumb. That's one thing about this TBR Rewind series that I definitely wanted to one of the main reasons why I wanted to do it because I wanted to come to grips with my consumerism and with my <laughs> lack of thinking and really take a look at what I was buying versus what I'm enjoying. And for the most part, I am enjoying almost all of what I've bought. But I also have a <laughs> really large stack of books that I want to unhaul. Um, I'm probably going to do an unhaul in the month of July. I need to add that to my list of books to film. July is going to be a hot fucking mess, guys. Granted, most of those I bought probably six or seven years ago. But there are a lot of books that I want to get rid of that I have either read and haven't been interested in or books that I have DNF'd. None of them are books that I haven't tried to read except for books that were like parts of a series where I DNF'd the first book of the series. I'm not up for just like going, oh, that doesn't sound interesting anymore and then getting rid of it. That's not something that I do because you never know when a book will surprise you. So I always at least try to read it. This has been a long ass video. Taking a look at my issues with retail therapy and coming to grips with the fact that I have a problem and I'm, I'm working on it. Again, 25 books this year. However, I think I've just switched from from buying books to buying Happy Planner products. So I don't know that it's actually going anywhere, but at least sticker books take up less room than books. Okay, that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays and Wednesdays and bonus videos on the weekend. And as I said, July is gonna be a hot fucking mess and I'm gonna have like four videos a week at least. Stay tuned for that. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see what I have going on in the future, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of that fun nonsense. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.